Hi, it's Anne from The Useless Crafter. All right, so I have a different video that actually shows you how to do an offset um, using Inkscape, but I know that um, myself included up until a few months ago was super uncomfortable with Inkscape. So if you don't want to use Inkscape, you don't wanna download it, whatever your reason may be, then I have two other options for you that I found through some of my Facebook groups that I wanted to pass along to you guys. So. These are two fonts that you can get from DeFont. It's Mr. Clown and Feeling Sweet Extrude. So when you download them, you have to download two sets. One is just the actual text, and then the second one that you're gonna install would be the offset. So you can see your um, what it looks like over here. So I'm gonna show you how to do it because it is slightly different. So let's go to DeFont. When you type in DeFont, this is the home page that you land on. So the first one is Mr. Mr. Clown. So you type it in the search bar, hit enter, and here it is. Okay, so when you go to download, um, and I already have it downloaded, so just click download, and then of course it will pop up down here. You have to go find it. I'm going to show you what it looks like, okay? <clears throat> Excuse me. <laughs> so let's see, uh, show in folder. I don't know why I didn't, oh, did it show? Okay. Um, it didn't, but I'll show you this one. So here's the other one. It's feeling sweet. Um, oh, here it is. So here's Mr. Clown, right? So it comes over as a zip file. So you want to double click on it to go into it. And then there is one that's center and regular. I was told, and I don't know why, but you should always um, download the open type font. So the OTF one. So double click on this one. And I already have it, but well, I'll show you what it looks like. You want to click on install. Okay, so this is clearly the offset, right? So once you click on install, it'll do its work. Then you want to do the regular one. So when you double click on that, this is the actual font itself, right? So install. You want to do the same for feeling sweet. Um, so show in folder. And then you want to double click on this one, same thing. So on this one, there's only two options, so that's fine. Double click on it, install, close, double click on this one, install, close. Now, the trick is you need to, once you download any font, so whether it's Defont or Creative or Creative Fabrica or um, what's another one that I use, Font Bundles, you need to close out your design space and open up again brand new from start then your fonts will be in here so what you want to do is you want to go to text uh, all right let's see if this will work no hold on <laughs> all right so go to text and select um let me move my face mr clown right so you're gonna have to do twice you have to do this twice so click on mr clown first and then let me open up this really big. Okay, so I'm gonna type in something a little bit shorter than Charlotte. Um, so let's type in love, then duplicate it. Um, and then on this one, go to Mr. Clown Center. So you see how it comes out like that. So now what you need to do though, is you need to make sure that you line this up the way you want to. So let's ungroup it. Um, because if you notice, there's a big gap between the V and the E, right? That's not consistent between these letters. So I would just move this over. So here's my front. Then I would take this, my offset, ungroup it. And um, actually, I would probably change this to a different color just so that you could see it better. Um, I'll do blue. And let's arrange and send to the back because we want to see what it looks like behind. Oops. Uh, so... There we go. Don't worry about sizing it now. We can size it later, but I would um, do this. And what I would do is once you line it up for these, you could do it a couple ways. You can grab the two and go to arrange, or I'm sorry, not arrange, align, and center it. Then it will put it exactly where it should be, right? Then what I would do is I would group it. So for now, wherever I put, you know, it moves together, then do the second one, right? So let's do this, grab these two, align center so we know it's exactly there, group it. 
It's a lot of work, but I know, I mean, I know how I was. It just Inkscape was, oh, what am I doing? I can just center it. Um, I know Inkscape is very intimidating, and to this day, all I do in Inkscape is offsetting. So I totally get it. Um, so these are your two options, though. Um, go to align, center. All right. And the reason why I group them is because, you know, like, let's say you want to do this higher, this, oops, this lower, this up here. You don't always, um, you know, when you're trying things out, you kind of want to see where it goes. But let's say, for instance, you want to do this for some reason. <laughs> so now what you want to do is you want to go over here. You want to grab your colors. So your offset, your E, your V, your O, and your L, you want to weld it. And see, now it becomes one image, one continuous, right? And then this, um, if you want to see what it looks like, send to the front. And then you can see it's... It's the way you want it, right? That we can't get in design space. And then you can make it big. You can change the colors. It would work the same for feeling sweet. I, I can't remember which one is which. But these are the two fonts. Um, and it will provide you with that offset that totally makes a difference in cake toppers, your vinyl stickers, whatever it is. So I know it's important. Um, it, so this is it. These are the two fonts. If I find more, I will let you know and pass it along. Um, but you can also check out my other video to see how you do it in, in Inkscape. Because if you do it in Inkscape, then you have all your fonts that you can use instead of just these two types. But at least one is cursive and one is print. So that gives us at least some options here. All right. Thanks, guys. Bye.